Hey, what's going on, AP World people? We're back with video number nine, topic 2.2. This one is on the Mongols, a very important topic in AP World Modern History. So make sure you are familiar with everything in this video. All right, let's start off talking about Genghis Khan, the great Khan of the Mongols. He was born Temujin and was part of a small clan and eventually rose to be the great Khan. He was declared the great Khan of the Mongols and he saw the largest contiguous empire in history, meaning it was all connected via land. Not the largest empire in history, but the largest empire in history connected by land. And here is the empire at the time of his death. And after his death, the Mongol Empire was split into four separate khanates, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. So some big ideas with the Mongols. They were pastoralists, which means that they moved from place to place and had animals that grazed on the land. And they allowed for religious toleration in conquered areas. This is very, very important. They are going to allow for religious toleration of conquered people. All right, so Mongol technology you should be familiar with. They had horses and bows, and they were expert horse riders and archers from a very young age. They had siege weapons to get into walled cities and fortresses, and this could penetrate castles and defensive walls. And cities that did not surrender were utterly destroyed by the Mongols. So they gave a chance for cities to surrender. If they did not, they would destroy them. And oftentimes, as word got around about the Mongols, cities would surrender before or as soon as the Mongols arrived. Conquered people were often forced to serve as laborers they would build roads and bridges throughout the empire and if the threat of rebellion occurred Genghis Khan would destroy the entire population so he would just as soon eliminate everybody in a conquered area than have the threat of a rebellion so the Mongols in China are going to establish themselves as the Wan dynasty pictured here is the grandson of Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan, who is the leader of the Wan dynasty, and they will use previous administrative practices and techniques of taxation. So they're basically going to continue with what was previously done in China. They will improve roads, build canals, and patronize the arts as pictured here. And oftentimes art will depict Mongols in a positive light. They did not become Chinese. They kept their separate Mongol identity they respected merchants, but they forbid Chinese to learn Mongol script. And they also forbade intermarriage with the Chinese. Jumping over to the Mongols in Persia. In the sack of Baghdad in 1258, Baghdad will fall and the Abbasid dynasty will officially end. 200,000 people died in the sack of Baghdad. And this is the end of the Abbasid Caliphate or the Islamic Golden Age. The Mongols turned agricultural land into pastoral land for their animals. And many Mongols will become Muslims as a result of living in this area. They treated women equally and included them in decisions of the court. So we see many women have rights under the Mongols. Jumping over to the Mongols in Russia. This is known as the Khani of the Golden Horde. And here is the Khan of the Golden Horde. The Russian economy was not as well established as, what, as it was in Persia and China. And the Mongols stayed on the periphery of Russian cities and practiced pastoralism. So they didn't live in cities as much as they did in Persia and in China. Russians were forced to send tribute to the Mongols. And the Mongols did not assimilate into Russian culture as much as Persia and Chinese culture. Mongol trade is an important topic you should be familiar with. And the Mongols promoted trade because it was a source of tax revenue. The Silk Roads prospered under the Mongols and they were able to tax a lot of trade. They also standardized weights and measures throughout their empire, and the Silk Roads will flourish under the Mongols. Many merchants wrote travel books and guides, including Marco Polo, who we'll come back to in a future video, and ideas, weapons, technology, and goods are spread throughout Eurasia under the Mongols. All right, one with a quick recap. Genghis Khan, techniques used to conquer areas, be familiar with them. Religious toleration, the different khanates, the Wan Dynasty in China, and trade under the Mongols. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you back here for video number 10, topic 2.3. Best of luck on all your exams, and have a good day.